Um, Cause you know what, that's in Celsius, which is more logical. So we don't, we don't do that. Yeah, we use Celsius cause we're not logical. Um, okay. So we are live and we are recording now. So um, I'm going to uh, let, um, well, I'm just gonna introduce um, again, our platinum sponsor, Frederic Constant. Um, we really appreciate the support of the event. Um, and uh, we would like to welcome Pim, who is, um, Pim, what is your official title? I mean, I know- I was just gonna ask that too. Oh, yeah. Aside from mad scientist. I know you're just like the the genius behind all of the movements and all of that, but um, you know, sometimes it's people- want to their official name, actually, what you just said. Your official yeah. title is- Yeah, okay. So, um, so we- um, I'm going to introduce uh, Fernando as well really quickly. Um, Fernando's from uh, Frederic Constant as well. Um, uh, Fernando, if you want to say hi to everybody. Uh, hi, everybody. Um, there he is. <laughs> they kicked you out into the car? Yes, they did. There's a little bit of a tropical depression coming through Miami, if anybody knows that. Oh, so yeah. I had, uh, oh, that's right. So I came to the car to, to take it from here. Yeah, I can see, I can see the, 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 through the, yeah. um, yeah. we actually, there is a, there is another, uh, guest, uh, a couple of guests actually, uh, later on today that are coming, that are in Florida. Um, and we had to like devise a backup plan, uh, for if their internet goes out because of the storm, you know, like, so, yeah. So, um, so yeah, well, um, welcome and thank you for, for coming, but I really want to, um, thank you. like I said, I want to, just kind of, I think this is really what, what folks want to hear is Pim, you know, develops all of the manufacturer movements for, uh, for Frederic Constant, um, Alpina and um, Atelier de Monaco. And, you know, like I said, his official title is the genius behind the movements. <laughs> no, definitely not, definitely not. No, no, my official title is, um, is technical director. Yeah. Uh, so I knew uh, that. That means, um, and for the Monaco, Atelier de Monaco, CEO. So for so Atelier de Monaco, I take, off, uh, take care of, uh, of everything, actually. And uh, for Alpina and Frédéric Constant, for the technical part, meaning uh, new models, uh, movements, and also uh, so from, very from the beginning of the development, but uh, until the after sale service. Perfect. So the whole chain. Yeah. So, um, so what we wanted to do today here is, um, you know, kind of turn it over to you and have you talk about, um, you know, the latest, uh, the latest and greatest from Frederic Constant. So I think we can uh, queue up the presentation that we have, Drew. And I want to see this too. So some of this is a surprise to me. A lot of things are a surprise to me. <laughs> yes, that's the one. Okay. There we go. And yeah. then, uh, the, Adam and I are going to be on mute, uh, monitoring, monitoring the Q and A. Um, right, so she just told me to mute. Yeah. So um, folks that are in attendance, if you have any questions for Pim um, or us, um, please put them in the Q and A function at the bottom of your screen. Um, we will monitor those, and either if they're relevant to the discussion at hand, we'll um, we'll ask them, and if if not, um, we will hold them till the end. So appreciate, uh, appreciate you using the Q&A function for that. And uh, Pim, take it away. Yeah, thank you. So first of all, I really want to uh, thank you for inviting me. And uh, I think it's really cool to, uh, to be part of this. And uh, it's a little bit strange indeed uh, to uh, do it in front of a screen. Uh, normally, um, I meet you guys like uh, all over the world. And uh, so that's what I like about the, the red bar that uh, everywhere, uh, there is somebody that is uh, uh, very excited to meet and uh, to talk about watches. So uh, that's what uh, I, and that's where I came for. So um, let's go to the next slide, please. Um, so actually, the the first of all, I would like to explain a little bit more about Ferry Constant, the brand, and uh, our purpose because. This is really since the beginning and the creation of Frey Constant, it's always been the same thing that we really want to have uh, and uh, let more people enjoy luxury. So 
we really have accessible luxury watches, meaning beautiful design, very high, high end quality, uh, but always for a good price. And this is what we started to do in the beginning, uh, Peter and Alata, the founders. And um, that's what we're still doing, even after like uh, 29 uh, in-house calibers, uh, if we count Alpina and Atelier de Monaco, it's even uh, above, uh, far above 35. So um, this is really interesting. We have a very nice, uh, well-finished and uh, really beautiful, not only watch, but also movement. And that's uh, the thing that we'd like to uh, show to you guys today as well. Go to the next one, thanks. So actually to see the timeline a, bit, a little bit, uh, I will go uh, quickly, quickly through it. In 1988, that's when uh, Aletta and Peter uh, founded the company and they worked until um, 1992 to create uh, the first collection. Actually, they showed it at Basel Fair, 1992. And um, actually they sold 350 pieces uh, to a, a Japanese distributor. And from there, every year we grew very, very fast and very uh, quickly. So in 2001, uh, that's when we started the development of uh, the manufacture movements. And that's also the, the year that I came uh, working for Ferry Constant. And um, maybe I can use, tell you a little bit how that, uh, how that happened. Because I was still at a watchmaker school. I did a watchmaker school in Amsterdam. And um, actually we did a visit, a tour in Geneva. So we took the flight to Geneva and we visited Patek Philippe, Rolex, uh, and all the big brands actually. But also we visited a very, very small company at the time. Frédéric Constant, and actually, um, when we discussed with uh, with uh, Peter uh, Peter Stas and Aletta, Peter asked the, the classroom uh, and uh, my colleagues of the, of, uh, of the watchmaker school the question: Can somebody help me with the development of a movement? And of course, so the watchmaker school you don't really learn uh, that too uh, too much into detail. Uh, but um, I was like the only one who said, well, I don't know exactly how to do it, but I'll try. And uh, so this is how it came. And uh, actually, two weeks after, I, I flew back to Geneva and we started to work uh, on, this, um, uh, on this caliber. So uh, I worked uh, uh, a little bit at school uh, on the first uh, manufacture development. A little bit of my um, internship uh, at uh, uh, Bart and Tim Grunefeld. I uh, did an interne internship for a year, and I also uh, worked uh, there at their bench a little bit uh, uh, at the first um, manufacture movement. So a really cool experience. Uh, the company actually uh, in 2004 introduced this uh, this particular movement, the FC 910. It was quite well not really complicated it was our minutes and the heartbeat at six o'clock and um well so we introduced it and sold right away like 500 pieces sold out we had a limited edition 500 pieces sold out first uh, two days of basel fair so but uh, actually we were a very small company at the time so we had only like um uh, maybe, well, uh, 10 people in the whole company. So I was the only and the first watchmaker uh, specialized on movements. So I had to create and to assemble the whole 500 movements uh, myself. And uh, so it took a year, but we uh, developed or we, uh, we um, assembled everything and, and uh, sold everything, so the whole 500 uh, calibers of uh, uh, the 910. And then after, oh, um, so after in 2012, 
the 710 came, also a very in, uh, in important movement actually because 710, FC 710 is the base for many other uh, complications like the chrono uh, we, um, we introduced later on and the perpetual calendar. Uh, that you see in 2016 were introduced and after 2017 the chronograph fl flyback. Then we um, uh, had some other crazy developments like um, the hybrid FC750 which is half uh, connected with Bluetooth and half uh, manufacturer automatic. It's a really cool uh, watch. And then we have um, also uh, in 2019 power reserve um, on a smaller caliber, uh, which is the, the 720 and the 723. So um, yeah, please go to the next slide. Then here you can see our manufacturer. It is um, actually we uh, had uh, recently uh, had an extension. So now it's uh, around 6,000, 6,500 square meter, uh, which is uh, based in Plan de Watt. And um, Plan de Watt is, uh, is an industrial zone of, uh, of Geneva, which um, is really, well, many people say also in, instead of Plan de Watt, they call it Plan de Watch, because actually there are many, well, if I look that way, there's uh, Harry Winston. If I look that way, there's Piaget. Facheron, uh, there is um, uh, Patek Philippe, Rolex, everybody is, uh, is surrounded. Um, actually, we're sitting in the middle here, so it's quite nice. <laughs> uh, please go to the next uh, slide. Um, the High Life Collection, so very excited because it, is, uh, it was a very tough one, I have to say, because it's really, uh, the High Life Collection is based on um, an existing model, or uh, really a model that we uh, did in the in the in the past, but it's completely reworked, and really uh, it became really a modern looking, very very sharp watch. But I will show you after. Maybe go to the next slide, please. So in 1999, already the first uh, model came out under a High Life. And it was uh, a triple time and a heartbeat collection, uh, which was um, a very nice looking one. Maybe we can go to the next slide and I can show you uh, probably a picture, yes. So this one actually was a day date and uh, was actually my first personal watch. So uh, I think it's very uh, nice looking watch, it's still a nice looking watch, even though it's uh, 20 years old. Go to the next slide. Here you can see some uh, some advertising. We had a ladies' version and uh, a men's version as well. Even with the retro grab, uh, it was also a very nice watch. Please. Yes. Now we I will show you a small movie. Thank you. 
So this is showing already a little bit about um, uh, the watch itself. And you can see the links and in between the links, the middle link actually, uh, it was actually um, uh, yeah, based on a sailing, um, a sailing ship. So it's, uh, it's very nicely formed. And uh, I will show if we can go back to the, to the presentation. Yes. Well, Always fun doing these virtually. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back to the presentation in a sec. Okay. There we yes. are. Okay, so we can go to the next one. And even at the time, the, 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 the earlier uh, High Life watches had already that link in the middle that was actually um, attached. It was like it was attached uh, to, the, to the case. And um, so you can see here, it's uh, the first, um, the first uh, picture you can see here, the, 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 the big uh, link in the middle, very nicely done. It's attached to the bracelet. So if you click it on, you can actually change the bracelet and the strap very, very easily. So it has a quick release, which we can show you after as well. That's very, um, very interesting. And it's also coming with the steel uh, bracelet and or a leather strap or a rubber strap. So it's, uh, it's the full package. And um, so here also you can see that this, the glass has a anti-reflection coating, uh, which is very nice. Even also after in the presentation, we can see we have some 3D moving uh, videos, uh, which was is showing this uh, anti-reflection coating very, very um, clearly. We can go to the next slide, please. So here you can see our um, collection, uh, our main collection of the High Life, uh, which is um, uh, here. The one that you can see here is the perpetual calendar. And of course you have the date, the day, the moon phase, and the month and the leap year. And it comes either with a leather strap or with um, a stainless steel bicolor uh, bracelet. And, but always you have this, um, uh, this uh, uh, rubber strap that comes with it. So here also very important, uh, the thing that I, saw, uh, that I told you also uh, before is that the price was always key for the brand Frey Constant always this was the main thing we want to make beautiful watches interesting technically design wise as well very high quality but the price is key and this you can see we have for 9295 us dollar already very very well priced especially of course for a perpetual calendar so please go uh, to the next here you have a, a different view of, uh, of this beautiful watch with a, with a blue dial. And uh, you can see that um, uh, it's uh, melting very nicely with the moon face as well. And you can see in the middle, there's like a, a very nice engraving uh, of, um, uh, of the, the globe, uh, which is uh, also every time it's coming back, not only in the perpetual calendar, but also in the in the one with the COSC certificate and in the heartbeat one. Next, please. So here again, a very nice picture. So you can see how it looks without a strap or without a bracelet. And then with the straps that you get, um, uh, that you get with the watch or with the bracelet, the link is already attached. 
So there's no use to or no need to actually take it off or uh, you know, the, the, the middle link is already there. So you can click it off and you can click it in very quickly. I will show you after. Next, please. It's very, I will chime in here and say it's really easy. I, I, um, I, uh, I tried it for the first time, like on camera while we were like, while we were waiting for this session to start. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and I was, I was impressed by how simple it is. It's and it's, and honestly, this bracelet, I took it off the bracelet cause I haven't sized it. This bracelet is really nice. It's a, it's a, it's an incredibly nice bracelet, particularly given, you know, the price point of these watches. Um, it's, it's a beautiful integrated bracelet. So well done. Thank you. Thank you. So that was me. Uh, sorry. Uh, so um, actually, here you can see uh, the um, the one that we introduced now for Red Bar. So it's a special edition or actually very, very limited. Um, and of course, functions, perpetual calendar, hour, minute. Then we have to date the day, the moon phase, the month and the leap year at 12 o'clock. So the finishing in the back uh, of the movement is very nicely finished with the Côte de Genève and the Perlage. It has a 38 hour power reserve and it beats at four hertz, so 28,800 beats per hour. Then um, the case also very nice, 41 millimeter. So it's, uh, it's uh, very nice also for my wrist. It's, it's a beautiful, uh, um, beautiful fitting. And it have um, a slightly curved sapphire crystal. Uh, with uh, anti-reflection coating, anti-glare coating on both sides. It gives it a small blue finishing, very sophisticated, and it's water resistant to 5 ATM. So for Red Bar especially, we, uh, uh, we had a nice discussion. I don't even remember where it was, Kathleen, in New York probably? It was in New York. It was, um, it was at the event we did at uh, London Jewelers. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. And the, and, sorry, not to interrupt you, but I was, I was, I, I will mention this that during that uh, during that event. Um, you know, we were we were very like that was a really fun event. I I, I like miss I miss doing things like that. So. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool, and uh, everybody was very uh, excited to be there. And um, well, to go ahead a little bit uh, on this watch and the creation of it. We uh, had a discussion, uh, Kathleen and I, and um, I, actually she never saw the High Life before at that time. Uh, we did not introduce it yet, but I told her it, it, it's a very, very nice and very fresh looking, uh, beautiful uh, new development. So we should do something with that, with that particular watch. And uh, that's why um, when actually we came up with the idea to have it, uh, a very nice uh, gray uh, dial color, so anthracite kind of uh, dial. And, um, but of course we had to find some, uh, um, some way to make it red bar, as I can say. So actually that's why I, when I came uh, with the idea to uh, put a red moon, uh, which is actually not a moon now, it's, uh, it's probably Mars but uh, it turns like a moon. <laughs> so, uh, but it, it really looks nice and, and different. So uh, that's, um, yeah, that's, uh, I think it's a very cool watch. Yeah, I, I love the red moon and, you know, the folks that know me, cause like, I'm kind of like, you know, I was, I was like goth in high school, like the, the sort of idea of a blood moon or a, a, a red moon, which is, uh, kind of, it was very appealing to my teenage self a little bit, but also, um, the cool thing about this is that the actual blood moon, like the, the uh, when the moon appears red in the sky is actually quite a rare occurrence. Yes, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, so, you know, the, and this this edition, you know, there's 10 pieces. There's 10 pieces of this. So um, it's, it's quite rare as well. It's very rare. 
only 10 pieces. So 10 pieces worldwide, I mean, we only make 10. That's it. So I'm starting to uh, think we might have, we should have made more, but, uh, <laughs> but it is, yeah, it is a fantastic watch. <laughs> and I just have to add here that this was a process that, that we did start a while ago and have been working on for a while. And I, for one, I'm actually, I just saw it for the first time last night. I'm, I'm wearing one right now. Uh, and it is, it's better than I even thought it was going to be. Um, you know, I will shut up again, but, uh, again, we're not, we're not finished. So, uh, I will, I'm going to just hit mute. So Kathleen doesn't yell at me. But you're, you're totally right. Uh, I'm wearing it for, uh, for a little while, actually, uh, quite a while now, um, since the first prototypes came out, I'm wearing the watch, of course, not the red bar version, but, uh, uh, the, the regular, uh, bicolor version. And it is very, very comfortable, very comfortable watch, both on, on bracelet and on strap. So um, I'm very happy with the results there. So please uh, go to the next slide, please. Yeah, so here you can see a little bit better the forms and the shapes and everything, how this is uh, uh, created. And um, also what, you, what is interesting to see, so we have at the, at the back, um, the back crystal uh, we have on the inside uh, printed red bar uh, with actually the limited edition number so it's not only 10 pieces uh, that's it but it's really numbered uh, so um, that's also a very interesting feature and maybe we can also check out the uh, the, the bracelet fixation you can see uh, at 12 o'clock and at 6 o'clock both strap uh, locks have like uh, uh, this um, uh, yeah this this quick release uh, which uh, I can show you on live uh, a little bit after uh, how this works and how easy it actually is uh, to make or to to fix and to disassemble. Next, please. Yes. Yeah. Here you can see actually for this red bar version, we have the stainless steel strap that comes with it and a very special strap as well, uh, which is um, uh, actually a new book. So it's, it's leather. Maybe I can show it as well here. Uh, I hope you can see it a little bit, but this leather actually is uh, also grayish kind of color, uh, but it has red stitching and also the back lining of, uh, oh, is in red and then of course uh, with um, a very nice folding buckle uh, i hope you can see that as well yes there you are stranger <laughs> yes uh, with the crest of uh, the Freddy constant crest so um, yeah, let's uh, let's go back to the to the PowerPoint here. We can go to the next slide, please. Another very uh, nice picture, and I like this picture because you see really how this is uh, smoothly coming the forms and the shapes from the watch head till the strap or the bracelet is really very smoothly. Every link has a different size as well so um it's um it's rather rather a, a very uh, interesting but also expensive uh, strap design but um it is uh, it is very nice the the results um for me well it's uh, i'm very happy with it, so next please oh yeah here maybe we can see when it turns around I hope that works. Yes. I have, oh yeah, I love this. This is this does show it. Um, we actually have a couple of questions, Pim. So I think this might be time to ask them. Um, they would like. There are three people asking the thickness of this watch, and the lug to lug measurement on the pet, on the perpetual. Um, yeah, that's a good question. Um, I don't know, <laughs> but I can come back on that later. I have to measure a little bit. Okay. But so, measure, measuring tool is not far, so. 
Uh, okay, Gail put it in the in the chat. It's twelve point six five. Okay, okay. Uh, I didn't know, know by heart. And um, and uh, we had one other question that um, was asking about the pushers. Um, this the little the, the pusher um, here that we're seeing on the underneath the uh, the uh, crown. That's yes, lower. yes. The pushers. Um, what are their um, can you describe the functions of each pusher? Yes, of course. So the one that's coming up now uh, is actually the pusher for the moon phase. So that's on the, yeah, at uh, 4.30, more or less. Then at uh, 7 o'clock, we have the pusher of the date. Uh, the day, sorry, the day. So uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then at 10 o'clock, if I'm correct, Wait a, wait a little bit. At 10 o'clock, yes, uh, we have the, the date pusher. And then at a little bit higher, so 10.30, we have the corrector or the pusher for the, the month and the leap year. So this one is linked together. So if we push um, um, like January, February, and we have to go to another leap year, we just have to push 12 uh, times more. So this one is linked, month and leap year. Okay, perfect. Um, any more questions? Um, uh, let, for right now, no. Um, but and there's a whole bunch in the chat, so I'm gonna go uh, uh, check that out and I'll come back to you with a couple more questions, but we can go ahead. Okay, great. So uh, next one, please. So uh, we now discussed first uh, about this uh, perpetual calendar. So uh, uh, 10 pieces limited edition. And now uh, actually we have one uh, collection that's the High Life Heartbeat, uh, which is not um, a red bar version, but I want to show you the collection as well. So maybe we can go to the next slide. So this is really, really specific um, feature of uh, Frédéric Constant watches, which was uh, actually invented by Frédéric Constant um, in, um, in 1994, uh, which um, actually Peter and Aletta designed the first one with the opening uh, in the dial. And um, this actually, we had many different versions uh, in the years uh, after. And also because they did not ask a patent um, uh, to, to protect this feature, actually many, many other brands as well have it now. But actually uh, the first ones uh, were created by uh, uh, Peter and Aletta. So this also um, in this one, it has an uh, SW200 movement uh, with a heartbeat opening, which is uh, showing the balance wheel at 12 o'clock exactly. And as well, this one has the quick release of the strap, uh, the, the new straps or the, the actually the, um, the rubber straps are coming with the, um, uh, with the watch. So uh, there's stainless steel and a rubber strap as well. And of course, the anti-reflection coating also on this one. Um, very nice, very nicely looking. Uh, next slide, please. So here you can see the different versions. We have the gold plated version, rose gold plated 5N, then stainless steel with the blue dial and the stainless steel with the black dial. And then again, of course, very, very interestingly priced, uh, even under the 2000 uh, US dollars, so uh, 1995. And of course, a little bit more expensive for the gold plated version, 2195. Next. Next slide, please. Then this one, the High Life Cosk, which um, 
Kathleen and I were thinking was a little bit more um, uh, suitable for, for Red Bar. Um, actually, Frey Constant never made a cusk before. Well, actually we did, but 20 years ago. And uh, so this is really special to go back to this certificate and to, to certified watches uh, with a very, very high precision and uh, very interesting. So maybe we can go to the next slide so I can uh, show you the regular uh, selection or the like a regular uh, collection of this uh, high life with the COSC certificate. So here we can see the different versions uh, which are um, uh, bicolor, so with the bezel in gold plated. Then we have the full stainless steel with the blue dial and the um, gold plated version. So the case is gold plated, which is not coming with a bracelet, only with a leather strap and a rubber strap. And then we have the white dial, the more classic uh, cask certificate, um, and this one is also coming with a leather strap and it's coming with a, a rubber strap as well for only $1,895. So all very, very interesting. Then here uh, we can see uh, again this, um, uh, this picture, uh, how easy actually you can change the full uh, visibility or the full image of the watch uh, by just changing the strap. And um, yeah, this is a very, very important feature of this watch. Here, a small close-up of the dial. And there we see again the small engraving um, of, the, of the globe. And also the printing of uh, certified, uh, certified uh, chronometer and automatic, uh, which is a very, very nicely finished dial with uh, very nice, um, nice finished and polished hands as well and indexes. To the next, please. So there we are finally with this uh, very beautiful red bar um, uh, red bar version of this COSC certificate High Life with again the same or similar look as the Perpetual Calendar with a very nice dark gray anthracite kind of color dial with the globe in the middle and then with the red touches like uh, here the second hand is red a very nice uh, strong red and also uh, the the word uh, chronometer is also put in red because this is very um, important feature of this watch the back again we have the limited edition uh, numbers uh, and so uh, i have to say this one you have um, a little bit more opportunity uh, to purchase it because this one is limited also very limited very small, but a hundred pieces only. Next, yes. Uh, again, this one with the bracelet and with the Nubuk leather strap with the red stitching, so the gray look, red stitching, and then uh, the back also um, is, uh, is full red. Here, a beautiful picture of the watch itself. And that's also a little bit how it fits the wrist. So really uh, nicely and smooth uh, looking. A very handsome watch, I have to say. So now we can uh, turn it around again. You can see here also that the, the slightly blue kind of touch on the front sapphire is really a nice uh, feature because it's, it will, uh, the, the gray of the dial will really pop out if you, if you have it right in front of you. And that's really nice. So it has a SW200 movement uh, certified by uh, the, the COSC. And um, 
so it has um, uh, 38 hour power reserve as well. Next slide, please. And everything, both, so uh, both the watches, the, the cost certificate and the, um, uh, the perpetual calendar are coming both in a very nice um, uh, box uh, with the strap in the side and um, the, the bracelet mounted on the watch. And also the, the, the box is branded um, a red bar as well. So it's very uh, nice package, I have to say. So to, to, uh, to sum it up again, uh, so uh, with the High Life Collection Global Launch uh, was actually this week. So we just launched uh, the product. And now directly after uh, we, um, we launched the exclusive limited edition uh, with Red Bar. So 10 pieces limited edition perpetual calendar and 100 pieces limited edition High Life COSC certificate. And um, yeah, this is uh, what we propose today, which um, uh, also uh, maybe, um, uh, Fernando, you can talk a little bit more about this uh, uh, $50 for donors, donors choose. Yes, absolutely. Thank you very much, Pam. Um, really appreciate it. Uh, I think everybody is very, very excited about the collection. Um, certainly you did a great job as always, not only uh, from the beginning and yes, to, to clarify that was in New York and it was um, the beginning when, when Adam and Kathleen and, and yourself and, and myself sat there and, and, and really, I think, I know Adam, you know, you and Kathleen really don't want to take too much credit, but absolutely you did an amazing job um, giving us some of the, the inspiration uh, to give to Pim to really put something uh, fantastic together. Um, but I really wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, North America and what we're doing specifically in the U.S. Um, with Red Bar, as well as with our, our, our platform, our marketing platform, which is um, Donors Choose. So Donors Choose is um, it's, it's, it's essentially a GoFundMe um, for schools. And I'm sure many of you have heard about uh, Donors Choose and how it works. Um, but with, with uh, the purchase of, of each of these Red Bar Limited Edition watches, we will be able to, you will also get a gift card from Donors Choose. And the way it works is that with that gift card and those $50, you will donate to, to a cause that is um, listed in, in any of the regions throughout the United States. So um, it, it's been a partnership that we've um, been very proud to be a part of and giving back since 2016. Um, I, though for those of you who were at the, the London event last year and and Kathleen and, and, and Pim, it was, it, it was a great event. You got the, the cards there. So some of you were able to give back. And for us, it's always been a great um, partnership and really aligned um, with Peter uh, Aletta, the founders of the company from the beginning, giving back as, as a, brown, a brand. And then now uh, with Citizen Watch America, uh, our, 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 the, the division of the brand of Frederick Constant giving back, uh, continue to get back through donors too. So that was very, it's been very, um, a very great partnership for us. I know Kathleen has, is very close to it as well. Um, I don't know if you have any comments there, Kathleen? Yeah, I do. Um, so I've been a supporter of Donors Choose since 2007. Um, I think it's a really important, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sad that we have to have this charity, but because, you know, the uh, public school teachers just don't have the resources that they should have. But I that it exists and I, I think it's a it's a wonderful cause to champion um, so you know we're really again you know after we we talked about our charitable efforts in the in the opening session and you know our ongoing fundraising and our charitable fund but you know we we really appreciate uh, working with brands that also have that commitment to um, funding charitable causes so we're very happy that um, all all U.S. purchases of this watch um, will get a $50 gift card that you can apply to any project of your choosing on donorschoose.org. Um, and it's and and I, I I kind of hinted at this uh, in the opening session, but you know it's even more important now that many schools I mean like most schools are are moving to virtual learning, and not every you know. Uh, 
student has access to a laptop or, you know, good technology. And so it's becoming even more important during this uh, time where distance learning has become, you know, at least for the time being the new normal um, to, to give back and support schools. So we're really excited and happy um, that this is part of our partnership. Um, and, you know, we encourage you not only to, uh, to uh, use that gift card to apply to a school project, but also um, to, you know, maybe make an additional donation as well. Yes, thank you, Kathleen. Next slide. And you could see here earlier, so, so what Kathleen um, alluded to a little bit earlier was, uh, you know, during this, this whole pandemic, uh, it, was, it was something that, that, that shook certainly students and teachers and, and the whole educational system. So through Donors Choose, um, we were able to donate um, back in May 5th, we were able to donate $20,000 um, directly uh, to, um, to a, a campaign that, that Donors Choose had just launched to be able to support those kids studying from home called Keep Kids Learning. So that was, that was an excellent opportunity for, for um, uh, really for us to, to focus our, our, our efforts um, to supporting uh, you know, students having to, to, to actually go to school from home. Next slide. And then finally, you can kind of see what the impact uh, of Keep Kids Learning the initiative. It reached 11,900 uh, teachers. We were able to impact over 480,000 students of which 69% went to classroom basics, books, uh, art supplies, activities, kits, and food items. So for us overall, really um, in a very difficult and challenging environment, uh, you know, for, for not only, um, you know, families, but, but each and every individual out there, um, it, it was something that we were able to really, um, I believe, impact some, some people real close to home. So it's very, it's very local, uh, community-driven um, platform for us, and, and, and we, we, we certainly um, appreciate Red Bar's support in, in making sure that we're able to communicate that to their community as well. Good. And with that, we turn it back over to Kathleen and um, Pim and, and Adam, so answer some questions. Yeah, good. Well, yeah. we have a few. We have a few. Um, so um, I think you may have answered this. Um, they wanted to know what the water resistance is of the um, cost. Yeah, it's 50 meters, 5 ATM. Okay. Um, yeah, as there's a question about details and photos of the bracelet clasp, those are those are coming to uh, our Instagram feed soon, but um, they will also be on the, uh, there are also some detailed photos on the Frederick Constant website. Um, the, uh, there's a question about the numbering on the watches, uh, on the limited editions, whether it's on the back or the side. Um, the engrave, it's, it's on the back, yeah? yeah it's on the back. It's just, um, we, yeah, it's difficult. It's actually on the case back, so it's underneath the logo. So yeah. then, uh, okay, that's answered, that's answered, that's answered. Um, we have a question about the weight of the watch with the bracelet and on the strap. I don't know if any, if you know that, it's, it's pretty substantial feeling. He could carry it. <laughs> no, I have no idea, but it's, uh, it's not too heavy, but it's, you feel that it's there. I mean, it's, uh, it's a um, it's a very nice feeling, but very uh, comfortable. Yeah. So Vasu asked that question. Vasu, I will literally take my coffee scale out, and I will put the watch on the scale and measure it for you. This is a full service organization. Uh, Red Bar provides many services to its members, and that's what I will do. Um, so. Um, we have a couple of questions. Can you specify the limited edition number that you can get? No, um, we've, we have gone down that road before and it is, um, it is not- It's hairy. It's, it's, it gets a little, it gets a little <laughs> sketchy. Like we just- You can't make everybody happy and you can make a lot of people miserable, we realized, including ourselves. Yeah, and then, um, so we, so no, you can't pick your limited edition but um, your LE number, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> the, uh, we have another question about the seconds hand. They would like to know if the seconds hand is painted on both sides on the cask. Um, no, it's uh, on the sides, yes, but uh, underneath, no. And it's no. not underneath, okay. Um, we have, let's see, one, so, so I've got, um, 
one question that I'm I'm going to wait for a second because I want to I think we should both talk about it. But um, one question um, from um, from the audience, there's a few people asking when and where will we be able to order these now. Um, th I will say this, um, we're not going to post the link here because this recording is going to be on YouTube for anybody to view. So um, I will, uh, anybody, everybody who attended the Red Bar Global Meetup will get a link uh, via Eventbrite to this, the, um, the microsite that's, uh, that will have these watches. You'll be able to purchase them. You will also, um, you will also have a head start for the public, uh, for every other Red Bar members. So this will be exclusive to Red Bar members only for 60 days. I quite honestly don't think that we're gonna have any left after 60 days, but um, but so the, the attendees of the global meetup will have access to the link first, um, and then all Red Bar members will get access to the link uh, on Monday. So um, we, will, we will send that link out uh, after today's program is complete. Uh, because I'm going to be on it the whole time and I'm the one sending the email out. <laughs> um, so we will we will get those available. Um, Fernando, maybe you can speak to delivery time time frame ish. So they, it shouldn't be long. We've got pretty much all the production correct PIM ready to go. Um, so we will be fulfilling some um, orders of the cost from the US, you know, right away within the next, I would say, you know, anywhere from five to seven days. And then from the, the most of the QPs are still sitting in Geneva, correct, Pim? So as they come through, um, we will, we should have them, but that should be, you know, within a couple of, a week or two at okay. the most. Exactly, exactly. We have a, we have a, a number of questions in the chat um, asking if we can, uh, if we can repeat the pricing. Maybe Fernando, you can, uh... So on the on the perpetual calendars, ninety two ninety five U.S. retail. Um, won't uh, I don't have the euro in front of me, um, Pim? Maybe you do. And then on the on the cost version. I'm sorry. Well, only U.S. dollars, I know. Yeah, and I believe on the cost version is nineteen ninety five. Yeah. So again, pricing. Uh, so eighty nine, eighty nine, and seventeen uh, fifty in euro. Yeah, so we'll we'll send it included in the email that we send out. We'll send out pricing in U.S. dollars, uh, euros, and uh, pounds. If that's uh, if uh, I'll just Gail, that's on our to do to do list. We <laughs> get the, the price. somebody somebody on the chat's quoting prices. So they, okay. They're... Prices, okay, good. Um, we have a couple of questions about the bracelet, um, whether it has a micro adjustment or not. Uh, uh -huh. I no, no, that uh, no. It's uh, it, uh, it's uh, linked. You, you know, I can hope you can see it, but uh, you have to push out the the pins uh, here on the links. Uh, that's how you can adjust. Okay. Um, we also have a question about the the strap length and the bracelet length. I mean, I think it's a pretty standard strap length. Yeah, for the. Yes, exactly. If we can get all... specifics though. Um, uh, yes, um, I'll check. So it's quite big, huh? Yeah. So you, it's, it's um, and I'm I put I am wearing the um, cost version, and I have it on the strap on the leather strap, and I am on the smallest setting on that, and and it's it's still a little bit. It's not it's not loose, but it's there's you know it's comfortable, so um, it can it can accommodate a wide. A variety of wrist sizes, um, and yes, they are. Per, they are, someone asked a question about whether they're purchasable on the website. Um, they are, um, but uh, I would, if I were you, if you're in attendance, I would wait until you get the email, um, because there will be uh, a special incentive for folks who are actually attending the meetup. Um, so um, uh, let's see here. Um, we have a question about shipping, whether you ship from Europe so they don't get taxed twice. <laughs> so, so we'll be shipping both from Europe as well as from uh, the U.S. 
Okay. And then I've got a couple of, I've got one question that I'm going to, um, or two technical questions. Um, one was, um, Pim, you, there's a question for you about your opinions on um, uh, silicone uh, components and, and whether you, what, you know, what you think about them and, you know, whether you're going to use them in, in any movements. Yeah, well, uh, first of all, they're not in here, but we use them in, uh, in our uh, collection. Uh, and actually uh, since 2006 already. So we have a, a very long history with uh, silicon components. We started with uh, an escapement wheel. Then we, have, uh, we had an uh, anchor or a lever um, and also uh, a balance wheel roller. And so we developed this, we put it also in a tourbillon and we had many tests also um, uh research and development wise and me personally and i speaking from experience because sometimes we get of course the watches back as i'm also uh, responsible of the of the after sale service i always want to see the first ones i make so uh, they come back to me and um, i definitely can confirm uh, that uh, the, the silicon is very strong and does not wear so that's what I can say from experience. Uh, so I'm very happy with silicon, uh, also because it's uh, just less friction. It is uh, five times uh, lighter than steel. Uh, so this is very important to have uh, less um, uh, waste of energy because you, you can, for example, uh, um, uh, compare this waste of energy because it's every tick and tack, you have to see that it's, actually the balance wheel or the, the escapement wheel is starting and stopping, starting and stopping. And this actually takes a lot of energy. So you can imagine that if those parts that are starting and stopping, if they are lighter, then actually it goes much smoother and it's, uh, it's less energy waste. It's like a sports car actually. The lighter the sports car, the, the, the faster it goes from zero to 60 and from 60 to zero, the faster it stops again. So you can compare with that. Yeah, um, so uh, well, that's great, great answer, thank you. Um, there's one, one question that I, I think is gonna, might be funny for you. Um, that is from Matt, he, um, he says he likes, he really likes the FC775 movement. It's a classic design with, a, a, you know, very, you've gone very modern with it. But he says the principal operating lever in the perpetual calendar module uh, looks like it's either a kangaroo or an anteater to him. Yeah, uh, it's actually, uh, I, I actually, I can show you. Oh, you <laughs> right. <laughs> I hope the, the things are not falling off, but... Uh, he was waiting for that, that question. <laughs> exactly, I already uh, thought about that. But the lever is this one, actually. It goes from here to there, to downstairs, and then it goes back here. So this actually, I hope you can see it also with the light, um, but actually this lever is uh, moving and it's actually this part, that's the most important part of the whole watch. Because if uh, the hands are moving, the small finger is touching the lever and it's moving up and this point is changing the date this point here is changing uh, the, um, uh, the day. And here it's reading off, I can show you the back here. It's reading off here at this point, the month, and it's reading off here, the leap year. So if this part is not there, nothing is working. It's the link between all components and all functions. That is really cool. And we have at least a half a dozen people that want to buy that. <laughs> print some more. <laughs> yeah, print, print some more. So um, it, those are that's a 3D model, yeah? Yes. yes. And then we have one last question, and I think we can both speak to this, um, you and I, um, and Adam as well. Um, they uh, wanted to know what the process is like to create a limited edition. And, and it's, it's interesting because this is the third one that Red Bar has done, and the process has been different every time. Um, I think in yep. this case, you know, we were at the event at London Jewelers um, 
and uh, and and you had I think come up with some some concepts ahead of time, and kind of took me over into a corner and let me have a little peek at uh, at uh, some some potential designs, and um, and you know I gave you my initial kind of thoughts, which I was I was there by myself. Adam wasn't there, so I gave you some initial thoughts and feedback. Um, yeah, where the hell was I? I don't know. I don't know. You think you were, I'm I very know. concerned. I feel like I blacked out like a whole weekend where there's just no accounting for my uh, whereabouts. I mean, that happens? sounds about right. That sounds. Yeah, I was going right. to say, wait a second. That's like every weekend. <laughs> really Keep on, going. Sorry. Very, very on brand for you. I did help though with this. I didn't just sit on my thumbs the whole time. But all right, go on. So we had the initial conversation. Kathleen, a little more. Yeah. yeah. Kathleen, a little more than Adam. That's for sure. True, that's true. So we had the initial conversation. The red moon was like, my, for me, that was like my my favorite part on the perpetual. Um, and then we had a, you know, we had we went back, we came back and had another a couple of more conversations about um, the design, and we gave a lot of feedback. And um, and you know, um, you know, Frederic Constant was able to accommodate most of what we had. Uh, most of what we wanted, and um, you know, we we went through a few iterations, and then um, got some you know final designs, and then and then here it is. So yeah, uh, I have to say this process was definitely um, smoother than ones in the past, albeit different. And uh, it, the end result is fantastic, though. I mean, we did have a few iterations. You know, and, and what I think people don't realize too is that when you are working on a limited edition, you know, economies of scale make a big difference. So there's some touches, you know, that, that we wanted or that anybody, you know, somebody else might consider and go, oh, well, that's easy to do, but it, it turns out some of them aren't. So uh, it, it's not uh, as simple as just saying, I want this, 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 and this, do it. And so we were actually just, uh, again, just really happy how it worked out. And of course, Pim knows what he's doing. So, you know, even if we're trying to do things that might look stupid, he's able to say, yeah, I don't think that's what you really want. So you do need to have a professional sitting at the table. But I agree. I definitely agree. It was a nice, uh, uh, really nice project. And it went really smooth, actually. It's uh, very good to work with you guys. And, and the fact that it's a, a new collection to the brand, uh, it's a nice, uh, different uh, case shape uh, for the brand. Um, we've got different specs, whether it's uh, the, the, the perpetual calendar or the, or the cost. So it, it's something that did, you know, it was, they were born together. That, that is for sure. Very yeah. exciting to see that. Well, that was the other thing. I think it was kind of hard to, to sit on because we did start this quite a while ago. So we've yeah. seen the collection before it came out. And uh, so I was just honestly, I've been very excited, not just for our watch, but to see how the Highline collection would be received. And thus far, I mean, it, it's, it's been a great, great launch for you guys, it sounds like. It, it, it really has been. I, you know, speaking for, for the U.S., it's been a fantastic um, um, launch for us. And I know um, Pim knows what's going on in Europe. I mean, we've, we've got some amazing responses and, and actually sell through, so that, that's also good. Uh, but to right. see Red Bar in this limited edition come with that initial launch is, is ah. pretty cool. It's pretty spectacular. You know, one thing I do want to say, too, for anybody who does – get their hands on the uh, the perpetual calendar is that the background of the moon phase is actually blued steel. So I think in some of the photos, it comes across as kind of flat. But in fact, when the light catches it, there's just this wonderful uh, shimmer. And then the contrast between that blue and the red is, it looks, again, even better than I, I thought it would. So well done on all counts, Ben. Yeah, the blue is really uh, shiny. Um, yeah, it just oh, it's just killing me. You're killing yeah. me, Smalls. <laughs> Sorry, that's a U.S. preference. I'm going to stop now. Um, thank you. Thank you, guys. Um, we're at the top of the hour. We're actually a little up over the top of the hour. Oop. Thank you again so much for joining us. Thank you for um, sponsoring the event. Thank you for this collaboration. We're very excited yeah. about it. Um, and they're really, they're, they really turned out really, really well. So we're very, very happy about that. Um, and we will... <laughs> um, I think I, I believe Gail posted uh, posted uh, the uh, code in the chat, and we'll um, we'll follow up with an email. The and and you'll see some stuff, some more photos on our social media coming up in the next few days. So thank you again, Pim. It's always a pleasure. 
Thank you, Fernando. We really appreciate Thank you guys. It. Yeah, I Fernando, be safe, by the way. I mean, I see <laughs> no trees landed on your car yet. But, uh, not yet, not yet, and I apologize. Okay. But yes, thank, thank you guys. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. You guys have a great weekend ahead of you. Thank you very much. All right, well, we're going to have some fun, and Pim, you're the best. I really hope uh, that very soon we can just travel and see each other in person and just have a drink and talk about watches. It's been too long. The last time I saw you, I think it was in Paris last year. Yeah, that was a nice yeah. one, huh? <laughs> that was fun, but yeah, the thought of being there again is crazy. But we will get there. We will. And yeah, thank you so much. Right. Thank, thank you. So Take care, guys. All right. Take Bye. care.